These machines are really noisy. I wonder what they're used for. Look like anyone lives here anymore. That must be Clara. She certainly looks the part. Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. What happened to your baby? Are you a spook? Do you dangle? Never fraternize with spooks, Clara. They can eat your soul. I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm not a spook. But you do dangle. I do? I honestly don't know. Dangle from their necks, the murderers do. Mind you stay good, Clara, or you dangle too. And then you turn into a spook. Oh, no, I don't dangle. I'm alive, see? Ah, uh, no! Clara has been bad. She must be punished. No, please, no, it burns. Pretty thing, pretty thing. No more, please, no more. God, I'm... I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to... Are you okay? My baby, my beautiful baby. All gone, all gone. Sleep now, beautiful. Everything will be better in the morning. I'm sorry, Flower, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, Clara. So, you lost something? Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net, just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's clothes. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone, but close, so close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Hello again, Clara. My baby? Not yet. But I'll try my best, okay? I don't want you to try your best, Clara. I want you to do your best. That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. It doesn't look like anyone lives here anymore. I 
I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt, not soup. Our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup too. Down where? The market? We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Spices! We've no sales today. No rent money. No food for the children, but... Best fish in why town. worry? Fresh Hello again, dear. Did you change your mind? Would you like a cup of soup? No, thank you. Are you Minstrum Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just looking for Minstrum Magda. I don't know any Minstrum Magda. There are no Minstrum in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... that Minstrum... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh, and who would that be? Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um, not from around here. That much is quite obvious. Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travellers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. So there's nothing you can do for me? Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April. I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common and I think... I think she's in trouble. And you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologise, but I cannot help you there. Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. 
It's too dangerous, but I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Why can't I call you by your full name? Minstrom is not a name. It's a title I carried before the Azadi banned the Sentinel from the city. And it's a position I no longer hold. It belongs to the past. And I don't wish to speak of it here where the walls have ears. Who are the Azadi? They are our protectors and our guests. They helped liberate Mercuria from the Tyran armies ten years ago. And then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. What's the magic ghetto? It used to be called Old Town, the oldest neighborhood in Mercuria. Now it's a prison in disguise. All magical peoples in Mercuria have been forced behind those walls to protect them from the humans. At night, the gates are closed, and there are often raids. Homes are turned upside down. Good, honest people are arrested, and... And what? They are taken away, never to be seen again. The Azadi call them terrorists. But they are shopkeepers and tailors and poets. The only terrorists here are... But no, we do not speak ill of the Azadi... They have done so much for us. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Hey. Hey. What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told you... Wait, weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? That doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name... April Ryan. You know her. I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from... from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean, how do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out... Tie me up and drag me into a basement somewhere. I promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to... To April. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. 
But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise no basements. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. We don't want to stay close. This is it. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. She's a screamer. Raven will be pleased that we bagged as a spy. I'm asking about you. There's no question about it. She's a spy. She does not look Azadi. Like that matters. You can't tell and you can't trust anyone. Let's get rid of her. Bryn? All I'm saying is let's not take any chances. She might have a tracking spell on her for all we know. I would have detected it. There's something peculiar about her, but no magic. Peculiar? What did I tell you? She's a spy, all right? Come on, let's get rid of her. Quiet. I'll speak with her. Alone. What? Why? Bryn, don't make me lose my patience with you. You need to trust me. But I... Bryn, come. Now. Fine. Fine. But don't say, I didn't warn you. So, why are you asking questions about me? Where am I? Who are you? I'm asking the questions here. Wait, you're April, aren't you? I recognize you from the picture. What? What picture? A picture of you and your friends. Charlie and Emma. I was in your old room at the Victor... In the border house in Newport. Charlie told me about you... That you disappeared and that... Whoa, slow down, slow down. You know Charlie and Emma? How's that even... How are they doing? I only just met them. At the Fringe. Back in... uh, Back in my world. Stark. I'm guessing you're not a spy. I don't even know how I got here. Last thing I remember, I was at the Fringe. I was going upstairs to make a call and then black. When I woke up, I was in this strange place, a subterranean city, and there were these, uh, these creatures. I had to fight them, and all the time I was saying to myself, it's just a dream, Zoe, just a dream. Except... Except it's no dream. I know the feeling. When I first came here, I refused to believe what my eyes and ears were telling me. But you learn to accept the truth. You have to. You're a shifter. You've traveled through the divide between worlds. You're in Arcadia. A shifter? That's what Ben Rime and Minstrom Magda told me. What's a shifter? It'll take too long to explain. You're special. How's that? You can travel between worlds. Travel? So how do I get back to our world? Your world, not mine. You just do it. Once you've learned how, it's like blinking with your mind. But I can't even remember how I got here in the first place. First couple of times, it's hard. It's easier when you're asleep. I wasn't sleeping. At least, I don't think I was. It's fuzzy. I'm sure you'll figure it out. What's your name? Zoe. Look, Zoe, I'd let you go, but I don't want you walking around out there asking questions, drawing attention to yourself. We'll have to put you somewhere... safe. Until you can find your way back to Stark. No. No, I'm here now, and I need your help. What? Why? Something's happening back in the real world. In my world. And I think you're connected to it somehow. I've been... receiving this strange message... Like a... I don't know. A vision broadcast through the wire. I keep seeing a snowy landscape with a scary black house that looks like a doll's house. And a little girl. Find April Ryan, she says. Save her. Over and over again. Receiving? 
How? Through dreams? No. No, on screens. It's like... like some kind of static interference. What does it mean? Don't ask me. I don't need saving. You've got the wrong woman. I don't think so. This girl... She led me to your room where I found the picture. It can't be a coincidence. It can't? You're sure about that? Look, Stark's not my world anymore. You got problems, you figure them out. That's what I had to do. I'm done with the saving of the world. Ask someone else. But I'll help you get back. It's either that, or we lock you up somewhere until you figure out how to use your powers. And what do I tell your friends? Tell them whatever you want. The April Ryan they knew is dead. I'm not part of their world anymore. So you're not going to help me? You're not curious to find out why I keep getting these messages about you? What if something big is going down and... Like I said, not my problem. I've played my part. Just leave me alone. Now, do you want to go back or not? I do. Of course I do. Good. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we'll have to make other arrangements. We're going to put you under hypnosis and unlock the part of your subconscious that controls your shifting powers. Lie down on that bed... And I'll be right back. What are you going to do? There's a part of you that knows how to travel. I will help you remember what you have not yet learned. And I'll end up back in Newport. Can't guarantee you that. You might end up somewhere else. Just try and focus on a familiar place. A safe place. So you're not going to help me? You don't need my help. Lie still. What's she talking about? Something's going on back in our world. A good friend of mine's disappeared and... And you need to not talk. Or would you rather have me lock you up? And I think April can help me find out what's happened to him and why. So why won't you? Because I have enough trouble in my life already. Because I'm fighting a war and because I'm done with your world. Now this is your final chance. Close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Don't speak. Listen to Naane's voice. Nea, Amam, Ayan An. Listen to my voice. Let it carry you into yourself, into the secret places in your mind. Ane An, Ayan An, A Ayan An. I don't feel a thing. What's this supposed to. What just happened? I do not know, April An. She did not open a shift, and her clothes. They're still here. Where did she go? I do not know. I have never seen anything like it. It is almost as though she was smoke blown away by a wind. Is she dead? I cannot say. I do not feel her here, in this world. But I will say this. I do not think this girl is a shifter. Then what is she? And where did she go? Better. 